<clears throat> Hello guys, Dave here with Zen and the City. What I want to talk to you folks tonight about is uh, empathy. And, um, you know, if you are not an empath or if you don't know what that is, um, it is a psychic gift where you have the ability to um, feel what another person is feeling, uh, whether it's good, whether it's bad. Um, there are many different types of empaths. There are empaths who can smell what other people smell or you know, hear what another person happens to be hearing. Um, you know, I'm not going to be talking about uh, those particular categories. Um, I want to, um, you know, talk about really my own experience. And um, I know that, you know, the hard part about being an empath is, number one, most of what you are feeling a lot of the times is, you know, are other people's difficult feelings. Um, you know, a huge portion of my existence is usually feeling what other people are feeling. That uh, is, is, is tough. The other hard part is that a lot of times you can't tell if it's your own feelings or if it's the other person's because what you're feeling is so real that it just seems as though it would be you, even though you might be feeling horribly sad, horribly, horribly depressed, and nothing's wrong. Or you're feeling really nervous and you're feeling really, you know, overwhelmed and you're freaking out because people are asking you things like, what time is it? Whatever. And you have no reason to feel that way. And yet, within five minutes, your coworker will walk right across acting exactly how you are feeling. And then that person leaves the room and then it goes away. That's an example of where, um, you know, it's tough. It, it's tough to really tell, but there are little indicators. And I wanted to share that with you. Um, so, if, it com if it's coming on kind of suddenly, where, you know, by the minute you're starting to feel a more intense emotion, that's indicator number one. Another indicator is this. Um, it all of a sudden kind of lifts, and it kind of just leaves and you feel an energy shift like, oh my God, like I'm coming back. That's indicator number two. Indicator number three is you don't really remember what it is to feel it once it has passed. You have a kind of amnesia. You do not feel, you, you cannot reactivate those feelings anymore, but you can remember that it was really tough. That's indicator number three. I'm sure that there are other indicators if you've had experience as an empath um, on how to channel it. You know, you could be someone who's new at the gift and you may not have any clue what's even really happening. Um, for me, um, you know, I grew up with a lot of tough stuff and I realize now that a lot of what I was feeling was empathic. Um, I was around uh, a very bad emotional abuser for years. and. You know, I would always feel severely depressed. I would always have these intense bouts of anger. Um, I would feel uh, just horrible. And as it turns out, the perpetrator who, um, who hurt me for years, uh, you know, I suspect that um, she had borderline personality disorder. And, you know, based on a lot of things that I observed and experienced, um, what's interesting is that if you read the diagnostical, the diagnost, okay, the DSM-5, uh, and if you read the symptoms of that disorder, that matched a lot of what I was feeling. So, uh, sorry to go off in a few tangents, but I just wanted to talk to you a little bit, a yeah, little bit about my experience as an empath, and I wanted to number one let you know that uh, you know. There's a lot more people out there than you think who are experiencing what you are. Um, I will just say this, one of the tricks of the trade that I use to get through the tougher moments, now you're experiencing it as the other person, so that person may not have the coping mechanisms, so you are going to feel like you don't have those coping mechanisms. It's, it's very tricky. But 
Um, this is where perseverance and this is where stamina and surrender come in. You have to be able to say to yourself, this is out of my hands. I'm going to be 100% present with whatever I'm feeling, regardless of how it feels. What, um, where am I feeling this in my body? Um, what thoughts are going on in my head? Be very vigilant to not believe your thinking, especially when you are experiencing an empathic attack, as I like to call it. There are other empaths I, I hear all the time to do certain, there are certain rituals that you can do to kind of ground yourself. And uh, I do have to confess, I am willing to learn, but for me, I'm not sure if it would really work because usually when I get an empathic state, it almost always ends up with me saying something or helping the other person because I know exactly what they're living because I lived it. Even though I can't remember and reactivate those feelings, I know because I experienced it. Um, so I wanted to just share those things with you. Sorry to go off on any tangents, but empathy, I could talk about this for a long time. Maybe I should uh, do a special on it. So you guys have a good uh, Friday night. Be safe. Enjoy. Listen to your breath. Um, feel the alcohol just going down your throat. You know. Okay. Have a good night, guys.